to recoil atom at rest this will be so then it will make a transition from higher state to lower state it's the nth state no so this is then we'll write it and it will give out it will come to m state meanwhile it will give out a photon this photon will be of frequency f naught Now what is this uh, delta e, this energy what you can call it as or hf not should be equal to ei minus ef this is the initial this is the final what is ei minus en what is ef minus en Finally, the end. No? Initially, what is there? Condition given. In state n, moving with the velocity, it emits a photon in the direction of motion and changes its state to lower state m. Lower state is m. Yeah. So th this should be the value of e m minus e n. H f naught is there. And now come for this, an atom. It is moving with a speed u, and it is in nth state. This is the initial. Now it will give out a photon. Sir, ah. M minus E n will be negative. Again, don't substitute already. I substituted sign. Or, or don't, don't substitute sign. Okay. Sir. We'll do one thing. Don't, don't substitute sign. Be better like I think. Uh, initially the N. No. We'll do one thing. No? I'll not substitute sign anywhere. Huh? Okay, fine. Here, here also I'll not substitute sign for E and M. We'll, we'll continue same thing. Now this will be, uh, it will give out a photon. After ejecting photon, so it will come to the energy. What happened? This energy, this is the atom. It will come to M state. This was, I think that he's asking now the frequency of this particular photon. Okay, let's write the energy equation first. En plus mass of the atom m naught. I'll write it because m naught u square by two em m naught v square by two plus energy of photon. Energy of photon is hf. Applying conservation of linear momentum. Now what is the linear momentum? Initial momentum. Uh, what is the initial momentum of system? M naught u final momentum M naught v plus momentum of the photon H f by C energy by C that one H by lambda you can write it because it's in the information is there in terms of frequency. All the all the information has to be expressed in terms of frequency. So therefore H f by C I'll write it. So H f by C is the momentum of photon. Okay, it's all about no simplification, nothing to do. So we should eliminate V and we should also bring F naught. So En minus Em is equal to M naught by 2 V square minus U square HF. So this will become HF naught. m naught by 2 uh, v v we can write it as m naught u h f by c okay try to no, no, look at this uh, only f no so it should be c by mm -hmm. 
expression for the v, v I wanted to eliminate. So u minus hf by m naught c it will come. So that I'll substitute here. U minus hf by m naught c whole square. Plus hf. So this will become hf naught m naught by 2 u square plus hf m naught by c whole square minus 2u hf m naught c minus u square plus hf. So this two this u square u square get eliminated. And and this will be negligible now because of because square term I'll I'll, I'll ne ne neglect that one so this will be negligible so finally H F naught minus M naught by two so this will be uh, what all will end up U H F by C plus H F. So I should simplify for HF no. So HF naught is equal to minus U by C plus one into HF here. So what is the equation for HF should be equal to? H also get eliminated. So F naught by one minus U by C. one plus u by c binomial expansion again neglecting higher order terms will end up here so what is the frequency of the emitted photon you you check it will it be more than when it is a test or will it be less than that one if it emits if a atom moving and if it emits photon in the direction of its motion <coughs> then the frequency of emitted photon will be given by this formula what is u that u is the initial velocity not not Velocity after emission, this is the initial, this is the final. You getting the idea? No, similarly, if it emits photon opposite its motion, then 1 minus u by c. If it emits photon perpendicular direction of motion, it will remain f naught only. So, our, our, this is our final answer. Uh, please, please do remember when you go for advanced exam, please do revise this idea. It's not a numerical, it's a theoretical co concept which is needed. When an atom ejects a photon, when an atom is attached, or when a moving atom, if it undergoes transition, what will happen? What will be the frequency of ejected photon? That is what the, the discussion is what we are doing. So if it ejects photon in the direction of its motion, the frequency of emitted photon is given by this formula. Okay, let, let me summarize everything. Uh, I'll compare all three cases. So first, if the there's an atom moving, if it ejects photon, uh, how it is ejecting photon in the direction of its motion, then the frequency f is given by this formula. F is equal to f naught one plus u by c. Similarly. It can also eject photon opposite to motion. What can be formula for this? You, you solve it now, you'll end up like this. This is the first case. Huh? Third case, if it is moving, If it ejects photon opposite to or normal to the direction of motion, hmm. tell me what happened to this frequency. This should be equal to F naught. I try to get get the core idea. This is the ejected frequency of ejected photon, and this is the atom.
Till now they didn't ask possibility of asking. This is the photon. And this with respect to what we are comparing with respect to if the atom is at rest. This F is compared with F naught here. And this is some general discussion. Can be asked in matching rather than numerical can be asked in matching. Shall I scroll down? Ah, okay, now the De Broglie. <coughs> okay, now let's. Uh, I think some twenty-five minutes time.